Hello, welcome to this week's Express class. So as I told you last week, we're not using the circle, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to focus on our abs and our glutes today, so we're going to do a nice quick class, just really focus on those two areas and try to work those muscles hard again. So come on to the hands and knees to get started. So hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips as always, pinch the shoulder blades back, tuck the toes underneath the feet, twist the elbows so they point towards the toes, and lift the knees up off the mat. Good, and then lower back down. And lift again, and lower. Bring the hands forward a little bit, lift, and lower two more, lift, and lower one last one. I'm gonna lift and hold and walk the feet back to the back of the mat. You can take nice big steps, or loads of small little ones. Squeeze the abs and glutes, keep the shoulders, hips, to the ankles in a nice straight line. Holding that plank position, lift the left foot up, hold, back down, right foot up, hold, and down, keep squeezing the abs down at the back arch, bring the feet out nice and wide to the edge of the mat, lift the left hand up, and down, right hand up, and down, walk the knees forward, and rest them down. Good. Second one on the hands and knees. Bring the hips and shoulders to the left, right leg back, and then right arm up in front. Just hold that position there. Good. Arms and legs back down. Hips and shoulders to the right, left leg back, left arm up in front. Good, and again, hold that position. Arms and legs back down. And then turn that front to your back. So, head resting on our head blocks. Knees bent, feet on the mat. Imprint the spine. Bring the legs to tabletop. And tap the toes off the mat. Good, and progressing from the toes to the heels. I'm tapping further and further away. One more each side. Straightening the legs out. Legs back to tabletop and feet on the mat. Good. So, so we're going to focus on the abs today. We're going to do a set of hundreds. We're going to progress through these into some roll ups and into some flutter kicks. So we're going to start easy-ish today. <laughs> Lauren will make it a little bit harder next week because I'm away. And then we're going to keep progressing through the set of abs, or your ab work, for the next few weeks. So we'll keep the feet on the mat for the first set of hundreds. Hands by the side. Big deep breath in. Breathe all the air out. Bring the rib cage down. Imprint the spine. Hands by the side. Stretch the hands to the bottom of the mat. Chin is tucked in. Roll the head and shoulders up. And beat the hands too. Four, five, breathe out, two, four, five, and in, two, four, five, and out, two, four, five, and in, two, four, five, out, two, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, four, five, in, two, Four, five, eight, two, three, four, five, three more breaths. Good, breathe in. Three, four, five, eight, two, four, five. Last breath in. Keep the head and shoulders up nice and high. And eight, two, three, four, five. Rest the head and rest back down. I haven't done hundreds in a while. What we want to do is we want to keep the head and shoulders up as high as we can. So the very bottom of your shoulder blade, you want to make sure that that's up off the mat. Imprint the spine again. We're straightening the legs onto the mat, but squeezing the back down as much as you can. Hands back behind the head, arms forward, chin to the chest. Roll up into sitting, chest up nice and tall at the end, and then controlled back down onto the mat. Hands back behind the head, roll up. When you're up nice and tall, the point of the elbow points straight down to the mat, and the palms of the hands point towards each other. Two. Chest forward at the end. Three. Good. Four. Five. 
six. Don't make this hard again. Don't reach up to the ceiling. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nice and controlled on the way down. Nine. And slowly down onto the mat. One last one. Ten. And then controlled really slow on the way down. Make sure it lasts a little bit. You don't drop down. So nice and soft the whole way. Good. Bend the knees again. Hands by the side. We're going to run through a second set of hundreds. We're going to bring the legs into tabletop. So imprint again. Legs to tabletop, keeping the spine printed. Reach the hands to the bottom of the mat. Chin is tucked in. Roll the head and shoulders up and beat the hands. Two, four, five, three, eight, two, four, five, and in two, four, five, eight, two, four, five, in two, eight, two, four, five, in two, four, five, eight, two, four, five, in two, five, eight, two, four, five, in two. Four, five, eight, two, three, four, five, good. Four more breaths left. In two, four, five, eight, two, four, five, last two breaths. And last breath in. And eight, two, three, four, five. Rest the head and bring the feet down onto the mat. Next set, we're going to straighten the legs onto the mat and we're going to do some roll ups, reaching up towards the ceiling. So legs are straight down onto the mat. Imprint the spine. Bring the hands back behind the head again. This time I'm going to roll up and reach up towards the ceiling. Arms forward, chin to the chest. Rolling up, reaching up. Chest forward at the end. And then back down. Good. One. Two. Remember to keep the shoulder blades down. Don't let them scrunch up to the ears. Keep them down away from the ears. Three. And down. Four. Down. Good. Five. Halfway there. Chest nice and tall at the end. Straightening the spine. Six. Keep the palms facing each other. Seven. Three more. Good. Keep the feet down on the mat as you roll back down. One last one. And then back down onto the mat. And rest down. Bend the knees. Imprint the spine. We're going to bring the legs to the tabletop. We're going to do some flutter kicks. We're going to keep the head and shoulders resting down. So keep the chin tucked in. Hands resting by the side. Spine is imprinted. Legs to the tabletop. Straighten the legs to the ceiling. And small little kicks back and forth. Good. Focus on the imprint. Keep the rib cage down. Head and shoulders relaxed. And just some smooth, slow kicks. One last one, each leg. And then bend the knees and bring the feet down. Good, so again, focus here is just keeping the back as flat to the mat as you can and keeping the ribcage down and in. Imprint the spine again, legs back to tabletop. We're going to straighten the two legs to the ceiling, lower the heels and lift. So only a couple of inches. Two, three, keep the shoulders relaxed. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees and bring the feet down again. And next, we're going to bring the upper abs into a little bit more. We're going to roll the head and shoulders up. We're going to grab the back of one leg, lower the opposite heel to the mat, and then reverse. Imprint the spine again. Legs to tabletop. Straighten the legs to the sitting. Two hands to the back of the right calf. Lower the left heel and switch. One. Two, keep the shoulder blades back. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees, rest the head down, and feet down onto the mat. Good. We're going to turn our onto our side. We're going to start to work our glutes. So, we'll line the back up of the back of the mat, feet to the front of the mat, head resting on your hand resting underneath the head block, and head resting on top of the head block. We're going to be nice, we're going to run through the side series, we're going to keep the bottom leg down onto the mat. Lauren will probably make this harder for you next week. So, lift the top leg up, one foot into the air, and lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't put the foot down. Bring the top leg parallel to the floor. So about six or seven inches up off the bottom leg. And little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change directions. Ten, nine, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight into big circles. One, two. Keep the hips still here. Three. Push it here far away from the body. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change directions. Ten. Eight. Keep those circles nice and big. Don't let them get smaller as you run through it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You can see my circles wanted to get smaller. Keep the top leg hovering parallel to the floor and cycle forward. One, two. Make sure the knee stays higher than the ankle. Four. Just about an inch or two higher. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and cycle backwards. Ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest the leg down. While we're here, grab the top of the or front of the top ankle, imprint the spine and stretch the leg back and stretch into the rectus femoris of the top leg, so one of the quads muscles. Perfect, and then switch sides. So I'll bring my head block with me, you can turn around to the opposite side. Again, back line up with the back of the mat, feet to the front corner of the mat, top hand onto the top hip, holding onto the pelvis here, making sure it doesn't move. Lift the top leg up and down. One, two, three, four. So just about 30 centimeters in the air. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold the top leg parallel to the floor and circles. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Change directions. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep the pedal still. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Into big circles. One. Two. Second side always feels harder. Three, four. When you're lying down, the glutes on that side are trying to create some stability by interacting with the ground and pushing down into it. Two. One more. So when you turn over onto this side, this muscle already feels tired. It's been slowly pushing down into the ground to create a stable point for the other leg to run through all of this. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and cycling forward, nearly there. One, two, three, four, keep that knee up. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and backwards, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab the front of the top ankle, stretch out the quad. So you can bring that left or the bottom leg forward a little bit if you want, left leg for me. You can bring it forward, it'll round the spine a little bit, stopping the pelvis from marching back. And just a gentle stretch along the front of that thigh. Perfect. And then rest the top leg down. And then that's it. First leg's fast. I hope you enjoyed it. Lauren will take over next week as I'm off for the week. So she'll make it a little bit harder. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye bye.